Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of It's All Relative. Today we're going to be looking at x rayed with Mewtwo. So uh, the thing is Mewtwo is a little bit far away from where I'm living so it's about one hour drive maybe more than that one hour plus. It's the very north side of the island so uh, basically yeah I'm going to be driving from now. I should leave now? Yeah I should leave now. Anyway uh, enjoy this clip that I just took like about last week where I did a lucky trade. So after that I'll see you guys at the Mewtwo raid. Hey guys, so we're gonna do a little quick segment right now which is trading with one of my lucky friends. So right now, okay, so you're already inside trade area. So we're going to do some lucky trades guys and this lucky trade has to be and only should be for Lucky Mewtwo, right? So uh, let's see here we have, so this lucky trade should be for Shiny Mewtwo. So we have 232A and 2324, so they're about the same CP. I'm gonna choose the lowest one just in case, you know, you might get a hondo. So we're looking for 2387, a hondo for both of us, but it will be lucky, so good luck, man. Good luck. So you already named your Mewtwo after me, so thanks for that. <laughs> and it's coming from Tokyo, so, you know, nice. 5,000 km, wow, that's, no, that's not bad. Okay, let's do this, guys. Special trait, confirm. Let's do this. Shiny Mewtwo for Shiny Mewtwo. Bam! Okay, hopefully it's a good IV one. 237. Wow, actually it's not bad. It's much better than previously. Uh, it definitely powered this guy up because it has confusion and side strike. It's a win-win for me. I'll take it, guys. Thanks, man, for the trade. Thanks a lot for this. Well, I'm still driving, uh, but something amazing happened this morning, though. So if you can see here, I was able to find a dino this morning. So I was just going out for breakfast and hmm, suddenly a dino appeared in the wild. Yeah, it was my first dino. Great to see it in the Pokedex. Uh, don't think I'll be able to evolve this anytime soon until Community Day because obviously we don't have enough candies, but you know. Yeah, still looking for a good IV ones. Look what I found when I'm driving. A wild Venusaur. Now I can't really park here too long because obviously, you know, I'm kind of in a legal location, but come on guys, a wild Venusaur. I can't remember the last time that happened now. The last time I saw a wild Venusaur was like maybe last year or something. Damn. Come on, don't run away, don't run away. And when is Niantic going to release the final evolution for all the starters, you know? Alright, caught it. Sweet. Alright guys, so we finally made it to the X-Raid. As you can see from the screen here, we have a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, I'm gonna move around. Why is there so many mosquitoes here? Okay, I guess because this place is like a park area, so there's gonna be a lot of mosquitoes and a lot of insects and stuff, so I'll try to do it quick. But you can see here, okay, uh, the X-Raid is gonna start about 30 minutes, and there's still a lot of mosquitoes around. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna power up our Mewtwo, because as you can see just now from our trade, we were able to get a lucky shiny Mewtwo. And actually the CP for this Mewtwo is actually not bad. Okay, you can see we, can, we have our Dino, we have our Lapras, and we have our 93% Mewtwo. And the uh, IV is actually not bad in terms of the attack, because it's, it's 15 attack. And I can't really stand here too long because I keep getting attacked by <sighs> mosquitoes. It's very, very annoying. Maybe I'll do this in the car. But I wanted to do it outdoors so that, you know, you guys get to see what's it like to be around this area. But since it's very uncomfortable, maybe we'll do it in the car. So unfortunately, I was not able to actually do this outside my car because the mosquitoes were just so overwhelming then. Yeah, it's really uncomfortable. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to evolve this... Uh, evolve? <laughs> if only we could evolve, but uh, we're going to power up this Mewtwo all the way to 100%. So this guy was actually given to me by one of you guys. Uh, through a lucky trade, right? So this is from a Tokyo, Japan Mewtwo. Nice, 93%. So let's power this guy up all the way to 100%. Hopefully in the future, Niantic has a feature where you can power up a Pokemon from zero to max with like, you know, you can drag this little CP curve thingy. Like, come on, you're gonna do this one by one. It's just gonna take forever. I'm just saying. Okay, this is the last power up. Here we go. I can't believe I have enough candy for a maxed out Mewtwo power up. There it is. 4148 shiny Mewtwo with confusion and side strike maxed out. 
Now, I can't really use this Mewtwo in this uh, X-ray, obviously, because, you know, Psychic won't work, right? But, yeah, we'll definitely use this guy in a future battle. Definitely. And I heard that Gen 5 has a lot of uh, legendary Pokemon that is actually weak to Psychic uh, type. So, yeah. Definitely power out your Mewtwo. It's still slightly shy away from my 98% Mewtwo, obviously, you know, in terms of CP. 4148 versus 4168. Yeah, not bad. But still. Okay, so we actually have a 23 minutes to go, uh, but here's what we're going to do. We actually have a few research completed already, but this one is just going to get an EV, right? So this is not really something you want to be excited about, but we'll see. Let's see what we can get. Uh, maybe a shiny EV, perhaps, for the first time ever in our life. <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? You know, that's not really the case. You know, we cannot get shiny EVs, especially from special research. We never got special research shinies before. This is probably a bad idea, but we have like 26 seconds and then it's gonna spawn and then the thing is, well, it's starting to rain. I don't think you can tell, but it's really starting to rain. Uh, there's a shelter here. Oh, here it is. Mewtwo. Sweet. Okay. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. X-ray. Yes. Since there's gonna be like 20 people battling, I guess we can start to use something ridiculous like maybe for example we use our first shiny Mewtwo, follow up with a Zangoose and a shiny Giratina, why not? Um, then why not just add on with a Tauros and a Pichu and what else? Uh, we never used Torterra before, yeah sure why not destroy the Torterra. If anything this is my first ever X-rate for a Mewtwo, my first X-rate ever was a Deoxy. So Mewtwo is definitely brand new for me. Shiny Mewtwo versus a Mewtwo with all the moves that is uh, psychic, so super ineffective. <laughs> I'm not contributing at all, guys. I'm so sorry. Mewtwo is down. Okay, so we're looking for that 100% shiny Mewtwo. Two, three, five. Uh, I think it's quite low. All right, that's fine. Okay, thanks, man. Okay, here we go, guys. Shiny time. Are you ready? Oh. I was so sure that we we're gonna get a shiny. 2351. Mm, not the greatest, but uh, we're gonna use our Golden Rest since I heard that the, uh, how you say, the catch base rate, the base catch rate for Mewtwo actually got down to 2% again. So, by the way, I seem like to be the only ground player here because there were 20 people just now and no one showed up here. Like, I don't see any other players here. So, all spoofers. So, as you can see, this location here is a spoofer X Gym location. <laughs> We can't. Chances are I'm not going to come back to this X-ray because it just takes too long to drive here. That's all. Okay, Ivy is not bad, but we'll keep him just because he is Shadow Ball Mewtwo. So we're going to put a little SB at the side. Shadow Ball. Sweet. Oh shit, guys, look what I just found. What? A shiny drowsy? Oh my god, I was just driving home and then this appeared. What? Okay, I don't, I don't. Oops. I'm lost for words, guys. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, so I've never found a shiny drowsy before in my life, and this is the first one ever. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect this. Holy crap. Shiny drowsy, guys. Woohoo. Nice. And another thing just happened. My friend just texted me, the one that did the raid with me and the one that passed me the x-ray. Look what he just found. He fought with me side by side in the same battle and he got a 2375 shiny Mewtwo with Shadow Ball. What is this? My friend got a shiny Mewtwo from his first X-Rate. Congrats, my friend. Congrats, man. Seriously, how the hell did you even get that? And it's a high CP one. It's 2375. That's like 96%. Holy crap, man. Okay, well, the sun is up. You know, I'm actually still very, 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 very salty about this drowsy, this shiny drowsy that I just got. I mean, it's great. I just got it. But to be honest, shouldn't this be the shiny Mewtwo? You know, come on. It's Psychic Pokemon. Not... Shadow Ball New 2. Yep, that's what we're gonna name him. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna end off this episode, right, with something that uh, I've been holding on for a while, but because I just managed to finish it, A Thousand Years Slumber, which is the GRG uh, special research, right? So here we go, guys. Uh, let's see. I don't know what we're gonna get. A Chameco. Okay. And don't worry, guys. I already checked all these Pokemon. They're not shinies, okay? So don't get triggered, you know? Bronze, oh wow, 
I did I evolve this guy before? I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna use the pineapple berry. Cool. If I have not evolved this guy yet, now then this is Pokedex entry. Oh, I have not. Wow, Pokedex entry, bro. Uh, how do you pronounce it again? Bronzong. Bronzong. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Nine three two. What's the CP? It's uh, so it's okay. All right, we'll keep him for the time being. Cool. We have three more. EXP thingy to collect, GRG t-shirt, candies, and a Pokemon that's gonna appear, which is candy, t-shirt, and here we go guys. This is it. Jirachi. Wow, there's like a whole bunch of them at the back. That is so cute. That is so cute. Do you guys see that? Okay, what's happening? Oh wow, that is so cute. Alright, um, can I use AR Plus for this? I can't. Apparently I can't. And I have no Pokeballs number, so I guess it's an unlimited catch, right? So, here we go. Let's go, Jirachi. Okay, I don't know how many... Is this going to be like Celebi Celebi? I know you need to uh, catch it twice, then let it pop out, then only the third time you can catch it. Is that the case? And then pop out. Yeah, I think it's the same as uh, Celebi. So the third one is definitely going to catch it. Alright guys, so we have our Jirachi in our Pokedex. There it is. Wow. Jirachi in the Pokedex, guys. Now that's nice. That's really nice. Whoa. CP is not bad. I mean, the IV is not bad. 1384. It's actually quite high. It's like high 90s, I guess. 91 maybe. Hmm. I'll take a look later on. But yeah, cool. We have our Jirachi, guys. Well done everyone. Okay, that will be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, there was a lot of weird stuff happening in this episode. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode, wherever it is. Yeah, uh, I'll be going to Singapore this weekend. So my community day episode won't be released until maybe Tuesday. So yeah, I'll see you guys then maybe. If there's nothing in between. Alright, take care guys.